The information relates to Jesse Limited, Limited, a public company, for the financial year ended 28 Feb 2022. Now, Mike Stierman was appointed as the chief financial officer, the CFO, on the 1st of March 2021 as a result of his successful track record of improved performances at other companies where he had worked previously. Now, he is not a shareholder of Jesse Limited. So here's the required notes provide figures, trends, and financial indicators or calculations in each case to support your comments and explanations. Very important. Our comments need to be on point. 3.2.1 in terms of profitability. Now, Mike has informed the board of directors that he has identified and rectified a number of incidents and fruitless and just wasteful expenditure in the company's records. Provide two financial indicators that justify the success of Mike's strategies. So, when looking at profitability, there are two percentages specifically that we should always be looking at. One, the percentage of operating expenses on sales, because ultimately we start a business to make a profit, so income minus expenses calculates our profit. And that percentage is actually decreased. It's gone from 27% to 14%. Is that a good thing? Yes, it is. We want our operating expenses to reduce. We want that to be a lesser percentage on sales. But conversely, the percentage net profit on sales, that has increased. Oops, that, okay, you can't really read it, but that says 10% and that says 24%. We want our net profit on sales to increase. We want our expenses on sales to decrease. More profit is better. And you just quote it exactly like that. From 27 to 14, from 10 to 24, one has decreased, one has increased, boom. That is the question done. 3.2.2, dividends. Explain whether the change in the dividend payout rate in 2022 will benefit the company or not. Okay, so the dividend payout rate, it actually decreased here. It went from a 97% to 46%. It decreased by 51%. And look, this can benefit the company or, well, not benefit the company. So this is your response. If it benefited the company, well, they retained funds for future expansion. They increased their retained earnings, their income reserves, for perhaps future expansion. Perhaps we're going to invest in fixed assets, push out a different product line, whatever it is. And perhaps the company has a greater intention now to increase productivity and maintain growth that was achieved in this year. But on the flip side, you could say, well, no, there was no benefit to the company because, well, they're not receiving any dividends and investors are now, or could be, discouraged from investing. And this could impact the market price of the shares. So yeah, there are two ways to look at it. Some companies prefer to reinvest money from retained earnings back into the company. So better the company's market share, market standing, just improve the company better investment so the company can grow. And some investors are happier with that. They'd rather have a better market price per share, but some investors are doing it solely for the dividends. So it depends on the specific strategy of that company. Next, we have Sue Lee. She's a shareholder who owns 5,000 shares, and she's satisfied with the dividends she has received despite the change in the dividend policy. Explain why she could possibly feel this way. So when discussing shares, we need to start comparing. So firstly, the DPS, the dividend per share was 180 cents this year. Sorry, let me just erase all of that. It was 190. Let me just clear it up. It was 190 cents in 2022. And that dividend per share is actually higher than the 120 from the previous year. So that's good. 70 cents per share more this year. Or in percentages, 58.3%. And she earned 3,500 more this year. How did we calculate that? Because in 2021, she got 5,000 times 1 Rand 20, and now she's receiving 5,000 times 1 Rand 90. So the difference between this, so this 1 minus 2 gives you 3,500. Okay, so... That's 9,500 minus 6,000. And the difference is that 3,500. Okay, nothing too hectic here in this question. So it's part one of Jesse Limited. I don't like to make the videos too long in case you guys fall off to sleep. Uh, question 3.2.3 will be in the next video.